natural language parsing has many applications in other natural language processing tasks, such as machine translation. For instance, when two languages have very different sentential structure, often finding the structure of the input sentence is helpful in predicting the right word order for the output. We're going to do a simple example. Instead of translating from one human language to another, which involves changing all of the words and the order, we'll just focus on translation of the order. That's called syntactic reordering, and it's important if you're about to translate English to Yoda English because you're about to go see the new Star Wars movie. Yoda is an alien famous not only for training the young Skywalker, but also for mangling the sentence structure of English in various ways. There isn't just one transformation that Yoda performs, but there is one that he performs quite regularly in his lines throughout the original Star Wars series. He often inverts sentences that have modal verbs, saying things like, Help you, I can. Yes. Hmm. And when 900 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Hmm. So what's going on here? Well, the original sentence, I can help you, contains the modal verb, can, which has as an argument the rest of the verb phrase, help you. Now that help you component is moved to the front, followed by a comma, and then the rest of the original sentence is maintained in its original form. So here's the syntactic parse for I can help you. There's the modal verb. There's a verb phrase that contains a modal verb, and we can remove one of its branches and place it at the front and insert a comma. Once you have the tree that corresponds to the original sentence, this transformation is quite simple. Let's try it out. So I'm starting with a partial implementation, where I'm going to get the words from a tree T. I want to be able to extract the modal argument of a tree T that contains a modal verb. And this part I wrote out already. It recursively searches T to find when T has two branches, and the left branch is tagged with MD the tag for a modal verb. So if t is a leaf, then there's no modal verb there. If in fact we find such a branch, then we get the modal verb and the clause modified by the modal verb and replace t dot branches with just the first branch, returning the second branch, which is going to be moved to the front of the tree. Now, if neither of these is the case, then we recurse through all the branches in T. If we find a clause that was the argument to a modal verb, then we return it. Otherwise, we find none. So now we want to perform the Yoda transform. And then for every line in sys.standardin, we parse a tree from the line, print that tree out, perform the Yoda transform, print the transformed tree, join the words of that tree together, and that's what Yoda would say. Extracting the words from a tree involves checking whether T is a leaf. If the type of T is a leaf, then the words in that tree are just the word at the leaf. Otherwise, we go through every B in T dot branches, and for every W in the result of calling words on the branch, we yield that word. Now what about the Yoda transform? Well first we get the clause, that is the argument of the modal verb phrase, by calling extract modal on the original T. If it's the case that clause is not none, then I actually found a modal verb somewhere and extracted its argument, at which point I have to put together a tree with that clause at the front. So that looks like returning a tree. 
where the tag of the tree stays the same. Perhaps it's a whole sentence. But the branches of the tree change. First I need the clause itself. Then I need a leaf, which contains a comma. And finally, I keep all of the branches in the original tree. Now, if it's not the case that I was able to find a modal verb, then I don't perform any transformation at all. So, I've run my program, which means it's waiting for standard in, and I can type my name is Yoda. And it will parse my name is Yoda, realize that there's no modal verb, and say Yoda would say, my name is Yoda. But if I type I can help you, then it will transform I can help you into a new tree which starts with this verb phrase help you, followed by a comma, and then I can, giving us help you I can. A longer sentence should still work in principle. All you students should study this week requires a moment longer to process because finding the parse for this long sentence takes a little bit. But once I've found it, traversing it to find this modal verb is easy, at which point this verb phrase study this week is extracted to the front of the sentence Yoda would say, study this week, all you students should.